can you edit 4k videos on the macbook a lot of people have this question this is a beautiful machine no doubt but does it have the brains to handle it so i shot some 4k footage from my iphone 6s plus and uh, let's see how it goes hey guys raj here so let's begin the video So as you can see I am using the Final Cut Pro. Let us go ahead and uh, insert and import uh, the 4K footage shot on the iPhone 6s Plus. So these are some of the videos that I've taken from my iPhone 6s Plus. These are all 4K so let's import them and uh, I am going to select all of them and uh, create a new project as well. So I'm going to stick with uh, the same default settings which we can change at the later part of uh, the video. So here these are dragged onto the timeline. Now let's see how the scrubbing goes and uh, how the experience is uh, through the timeline. As you can see the scrubbing is pretty smooth, no lag. So that is a good sign so far. So let me just uh, try and add some effects. So this is some color effect that I'm adding and also let us try and add some titles as well so I'm going to add some random titles to the timeline couple of them now let's see how the scrubbing is it is pretty flawless as you can see well that color glitch it is not really a glitch guys that is the effect that I added just now so everything is going just fine so far so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and export this so now you can see here the file details here below you will see that it is the 4k and you can see there is nothing running in the background except obviously the screen recorder so I am going to go ahead and export this and I'm going to run the timer as well so 3 2 1 go right so the timer is running down below as you can see and a few important things guys I know the screen recorder does affect the performance but uh, I also did this uh, without the screen recorder and I found it to be slightly better so a few seconds give or take also I noticed that the fan has kicked in that uh, means there is some fan noise and uh, yes do not worry about that that was my screensaver in the middle so basically it is uh, the only thing that is running right now I'm not stressing this uh, with any other application running in the background so let's see again so that's done as you can see this took only about 2 minutes 45 seconds so if you do the math it shouldn't take more than 20 or 25 minutes to render and export a 10 minute footage video so let me know what you think guys in the comment section down below thanks for watching please like share and uh, subscribe i'll see you soon